becoming a bit of a nightmare. There's not, uh, not much space in that garage to work with. And uh, I think because of the changeovers in years on the bikes, I've got a funny feeling of uh, they've been given the wrong information as to what actual year that engine is. Um, I will check it against the owner's manual I got for them engines, the Haynes manual. Um, but from what I can see, I've been given an older engine and they've put, modified it to fit the electronic coil packs in it. Um, because I have um, another Ninja engine here, which is been purchased all up ready and running apparently. So you soon see with that one, I'm just uh, clearing a bit of space for it now so I can check it over and make sure if it's the same loom or not. Um, the only issue I've got with this is this one's been fitted with an alarm. To get that alarm out. Uh, so yeah, looks like I've I've uh, been a bit misled on eBay when I purchased the old loom because the loom I got on this one is the same as the loom I have on the other bike, um, and this one is running on coil packs, two coil packs, and the other one's running on individual coil packs. So, yeah. Looks like we've got a slight little issue there. We'll have to get another one, fork out a bit more. But, yeah. They've, uh, they've dropped in some individual coil packs for it, which is okay if they work. And possibly modify it somehow um, and go from there. I've got a few more bits and bobs to do um, and see what happens with that. Hopefully, hopefully within the next few weeks I can have it fitted, mounted properly and ready to go. Um, and go from there. What's this engine here? This engine is a Kawasaki ZXR uh, 995. So I'll take a picture of the engine code on it and compare it to the engine code on the other one where I have a list of the years for it. And then hopefully a bit enjoy. I can just fabricate some mounts. Get rid of this god awful alarm on here that someone's chopped the bike with the loom at. Hopefully, it hasn't damaged it too much. Um, and a data tool alarm system. So, hopefully, hopefully, we can take this apart, get this loom off without damaging any of the other loom. Um, it looks like to me, if you have a little look, it looks like it's got quite a bit hot. And uh, decided to, to burn through that wire. So hopefully when I cut the rest of this nasty electrical tape off, it's a cheap version of wrapping up the wires, although it's good, but the proper stuff we can see what they've, what they've done and then remove the alarm and then should be good to go ready sorted um, so all the plugs are here um, what I have on this one is let's have a little look Everything that should be connected to the engine is pretty much still connected. Um, 
through through various plugs is all pretty much connected up still which is a godsend because there's nothing worse than having to figure out what goes where so yeah let's see how that goes <laughs> 